Maybe. No, not at all. I'm not. Oh my god, there's, crisp, there's crunchy, crunchy. Huh? Tur toy tools. Oh, the turtles. Oh, those, ah. those guys are cute. I have 15 Surtis Quartz in this chest. I don't know where it came from, and if that was there the whole time, I'm genuinely gonna throttle myself because that's so much Surtis Quartz. You should just throttle yourself anyway for making this mining system. Wow, it's not that bad. Is. Okay, I'm, I'm, looking... I'm kind of walking around here and I'm like, oh boy, I need to find some naturally spawning chromium crystals. I only need one blue. Well, guess what? A lovely blue condom crystal <laughs> is hard to find when. <laughs> condom crystal. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to find when half of the mine is flattened out and dark. So now skeletons and everything that's dark and creepy on this earth is spawned everywhere. You I know mean, how much I hate scaly bobs. You could just quickly do a do a sneaky Google search to figure out where precisely they spawn. No, I I found indigo. Okay, well that's where I got the indigo from the first time around. Yep. Uh, okay, it's night time, so I'm just gonna wait for an enderman to spawn now because we don't have any ender pearls. <laughs> Oh no, you having trouble down in the mine. I'm you big old baby. Babies. You big old baby. Babies. <laughs> also, also, Mr. D, I don't feel so good. Ever, ever since like we took those wacky wacky berries, I've started seeing black tentacles coming up my body whenever I kill one of these monsters. I'm scared. Oh, I just... Am I having a baby? <laughs> uh uh ha, ha. Uh, you shouldn't be. I made sure of that. Um, <laughs> just ignore it for now. It'll go away eventually. <laughs> okay, so weird black tentacles come out my body. Yeah, just ignore it. You know, just take a paracetamol and uh, rest up. Look, tentacles, they're not always a bad thing. Sometimes it can be a sign of fun things to come. You never know. Please, never come near me or my children ever again. You have fucking kids? <laughs> wait, what? Oh, wait, no. Oh, sorry. Roll reversal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's a skeleton with full obsidian armor. I'm still not seeing any endermen, sadly. I really hope one decides to spawn, because if not, then I'm going to be stuck on the ender pearl front. Uh, I think I remember now as well. I accidentally, like, EMC'd the last ender pearl fragment we had. You can have fragments of enderpearls? Oh my god. But yeah. how, how, how long have I been kept out this loop? Wait. Oh my god, I didn't even realize this. I can create enderpearls with the Philosopher's Stone. What I didn't even... Create with the... What else can you create with the Philosopher's Stone? Oh, you can create loads of shit. You can make can charcoal, create... diamonds, al alchemical... There's 6,000 pages of things you can craft with it. I'm going to be can, honest. Can you make, in... can you make blue chronomed? I don't think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, boy. That, that, because I, I'm in the mine. I'm looking at all these ravines and trying to find, you know, good stuff. And... What the God, fuck? God, we only have yellow and indigo. And I have no clue I how think, to get into I think my um, not enough items is broken because I thought it was just displaying 6,433 pages of transmutation recipes. But it's just displaying random fucking recipes. Like, this is how to make the Lexica Batania. This is how to make a cooler. This is how to make framed sideways bookshelves. This is how to make a warped wall, a diamond apple, a, a fucking rune Wait, inscription apple. chisel. Yeah, you can make diamond apples. It, uh, actually, no, this is a diamond apple sprout, which grows diamond apples. Uh, you can make bullets and shock-sensitive contact mats and... Uh, compressed cobble and ionite structure for oh environmental core I forgot about that yeah one of the things that I want to get sorted once we have the computer down is making a void miner um I, I okay. have I spoken about this before no but can you but can you please say it in plain English I found diamonds oh hell yeah yeah you know what diamond we don't we don't even need them. I say we don't need them, but take them anyway, because, I mean, who leaves diamonds? You know, the worst thing is, is I found it completely by accident. We walked past it, this thing, for, like, actual se sessions. Really? Where was it? Yeah. Okay, so you know that little uh, lava pool dip uh, near where all the conundrum is? Yeah. Yeah, just right down there. There's just oh. five of it. 
I'm a bit vibing. I had no idea. And neither did I. Hmm, fair enough. Um, well, anyway, as I was on about, the Void Miner is a multi-block structure that you can set up, which basically generates ores for free, and you can upgrade it to get more powerful ores and more ores when it's active. Um, <coughs> okay. And obviously, because we're going to drain our surrounding area very soon of resources, uh, I feel like it'll help a lot, and obviously it'll it'll fold into the automation side of things, because we can then pump all of the ores into the computer system, which we can then pump out into a grindstone, into the smeltery, into whatever we decide to use to get the most ore, uh, the most, like, material possible, before we then feed half of it into a condenser. Oh, <sighs> But that's all in the future, because void mining stuff is... Very expensive. How expensive are we on? About two diamonds? Three diamonds? No. Um, Five? If I at Envirotech real quick. Uh, Envirotech. Here we go. The highest tier void miner, which is a Xerothium void miner, requires uh, three, six Xerothium crystals, which is... Uh, something you can only get from the tier below's Void Miner. It requires a laser <laughs> core, which is obsidian plates and iron ingots. It requires a nanorite Void Miner and a block of diamond. And the nanorite Void Miner is six nanorite crystals, a laser core, another block of diamond, and then the uh, tier below that, which is in black text, so I can't read it, um, which you get with uh, some more black gems, whose text I can't read, another block of diamond, and an ionite void miner and a laser core. And the ionite void miner is another block of diamond, a laser core, six ionite crystals, and a pladium void miner, which is a chironite mm -hmm. void miner, a block of diamond, laser core, uh -huh. and six pladium crystals. And you get the... Look, you get the pattern. But the very base one requires two structure panels, uh, four litharite crystals, a laser diode, and a block of diamond. Okay. And not to mention all of the supporting structure that you need to upgrade alongside it as well. Okay, so, yeah, that that's uh, my head. So, uh, that, that's a you thing. That's a you thing. Yeah, that's a me thing. That's that's a me thing. <laughs> mm. But yeah. Also, do you mind if I use these uh, these uh, these things, these ender pearls in the chest? I really need to make some torches. Yeah, go for them. Why do you need ender pearls for torches? EMC. Ah, oh, right, yeah, go for it. I've got four ender pearls on me, just save one. There's also a torch in this chest out here if you need to EMC that. Why do I need to EMC a torch? Because you're trying to make torches. I've got a torch. Oh. That's why I'm EMC. Oh, fuck. J j j uh, shut up. <laughs> okay, so I did the Oofy Doofy again, so you might want to quickly go, like, steal one of your things. Oh, god fucking damn it. Okay. Uh, do we have any purple flowers lying around? I don't know, maybe. Because I need purple flowers, and it can't be petals. Uh, because I would need the purple dye to make the crystals, and then I need blue dye to make the specific coloured share stone that I want to use for decoration. <clears throat> this okay. is a very complicated setup for something that's ultimately just going to be decoration, but... You know, it's 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 a nice grind. It's um, it's it's putting effort into something that otherwise wouldn't need it for the sake of just making it look nice, and I think that's really cool. I mean, it is. It's really cool. Mm. Oh, oh god, I'm not going down there. Okay, um, purple flowers. Time to stop mining for a new ravine. Oh, we completely drained the other one then. Uh, well, it's just more. We, it's not the conundrum that we want, and I'm pretty sure it only spawns in like big open areas. Okay. Uh, well, so... We have more indigo corundum up here in its raw form. We also have yellow corundum, but we don't have blue. Um, no, we don't. It's really weird, isn't it? I know, right? It's very wacky, right? It's so quirky. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Tiffany. so. Oh my god, Bradley! <laughs> I can't believe we're getting married on Sunday. Okay, while well, you go and look for the corundum, I've got to go out and look for some purple flowers. Um, 
surprisingly, didn't pick up any in the entire time I was clearing this area out. Um, so I'm gonna have to hop over... Wait, hold on. Is this it? Oh, these are mystical flowers. I think these only drop petals. Yeah, they only drop petals. God damn it. <sighs> mm, I thought the first thing I went for was the conundrum, uh, even though that, like, you're more su well suited to this, and I could just grab leaves. That is true. Um, but yeah. actually, I just realized, um, so you know how I have my, uh, temple, right? My star temple. Yes, your, your mysterious base, your wizard tower in which you store away princesses. Right. Well, um, as a part of building that, I had to do a bit of Batania, which I absolutely despised because I hate Batania. But, if I can go to my Batania hut, which is, uh, oh, it's miles away because I had to find a mushroom biome. Uh, but if I can go there, I have a mortar and pestle in one of my chests, and I can use that mortar and pestle to grind these petals down into actual dye. Here we go, here's the mortar and pestle. So I don't actually have to look for a specific flower, I can just use the mystical flowers and then crush the petals in the mortar and pestle. And uh -huh. I get myself some magenta dye. There we go. And then I can drop the pestle back off. And I can never come to this island again because I hate being around Batania. <laughs> Batania is the best thing in the world. What are you on about? It's just oh, not for me. I just can't fucking stand it. Yeah, you know what's better than Batania? What? Pam's, Pam's Harvest Craft, you know? Because ah! you get all the good food. <laughs> I think it's on the same level of fun, wouldn't you? Uh, sure. Also, I made the wrong color dye, so that was useless anyway. But, apparently, for some reason, do you know the blue flower, cere like the Cere Blossom or whatever it's called? Yeah. That makes purple dye. Well, clearly, because blue is on the spectrum. The purple spectrum. It's not the only thing here on the fucking spectrum. All right. Uh... Yeah, with the conversations I'm giving out today, you know, I won't be too surprised. <laughs> Uh, the funny part is, if you don't specify, that sentence can apply to either of us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it's gonna stay. Hell yeah. Okay, thankfully we do have quite a few Seri Blossoms, because we we are in a magic biome. This is a magic biome. Um, so there's just a lot of them to go around. But if I turn that into purple dye, I can then open up my Philosopher's Stone. I can craft myself uh, two Warp Stones. Uh, but I need four, so I'm going to EMC a couple of these. Uh, I'll grab a stack of ender pearls just so I never run out. And then I'm going to throw the warp stone up here because for some reason it has an EMC value, which is strange. Uh, and then I'm going to throw some of this crap in my inventory into these chests outside so I have the space to actually use uh, my inventory. Yeah. Just what? in case, have you actually checked the uh, chests fully for Conundium? Because that's one thing that I completely forgot to do. I did, um, and I know we don't have blue, because originally I was gonna use blue for the wall, but we didn't have any, so I used indigo. So I mean, indigo's a kind of blue. Is there any way to die? <gasps> oh, you know one thing we could actually just do with that's a lot easier? What? Like, blue glass. Yeah, but it corundum both pulsates and gives off light. Oh, okay, fair enough. I'm gonna say the main reason I chose corundum over the glass technique, or just like a, a, a regular blue block of light, is because of the pulsing and because of the light. Like th those are the two main factors that I chose corundum. Mm. Okay, let me throw this up here and throw this up here. There we go. Okay, so now I need to actually make the share stones. And to craft a share stone, I need uh, obsidian and stone bricks. Do we have obsidian? I don't think we do. Because we got just enough of the portal, and then I don't think we ever mined any after that. So I'm going to quickly yeah. hop down into the mines and grab some. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can meet me in the mines. You can, you can find my wacky long hallway, and I actually found the uh, other cave. Where are you? You're not on my mini map anymore. Yeah, I went on a small adventure. You must be really far out to not be on my mini map anymore, because my map is very large. 
Yeah, I'm actually just trying to break my game right now. Because <laughs> I'm trying to burn um, the items that are following me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say the only safe way of doing that is make sure there's water nearby and just jump in the lava and then quickly hop into the water. Or turn off magnet. Or do that. <laughs> I like to live life on the edge. <laughs> 